I want to make a subtle but important distinction between the idea of character and the idea of personality. Note that Flannery O'Connor didn't coin her phrase as the mystery of character. Perhaps because the <coughs> word character is slightly loaded in English. Though the Greek word, the Greek root of the word character suggests an engraved mark or a symbol or imprint on the soul, our modern English usage has various meanings. One usage when we say he possessed a weak character prone to suffering implies a person's distinctive mental and moral qualities. It can also mean the complex of mental and ethical traits marking a larger group or even a nation. We've all heard rhetoric about the character of the American people. In these uses of character, there is a judgment or assessment involved. When we talk about personality as opposed to this particular usage of character, we mean the aggregate of characteristics and qualities that form a person's distinctive identity. This idea of personality is more descriptive than judgmental. Fiction writers, of course, have more specialized uses of the word character. We use it to mean a person who inhabits our work, and we also use it to indicate the defining characteristics of that person, regardless of their moral stature. So when I talk about personality, I'm in many ways talking about an animating force within an overall sense of character. <coughs> a social backstory dimension to a character we're building might be a childhood spent in rural poverty, mm -hmm. but that dimension doesn't become a part of personality until it's internalized and expressed in some way, perhaps emerging in later life as a mistrust of banks. <laughs> so, Given this distinction between character and personality, I want to focus mainly on the latter as an animating force within character. And it goes without saying, almost, that we've spent our whole lives observing the multitude of personalities around us. We've developed private theories about eccentric, amoral, or enigmatic behavior. We carry around a rich reservoir of <coughs> characterizing detail. The problem for the fiction writer, it seems to me, is how to render it believably, concretely, and paradoxically. As William James put it, the writer should give an impression like that we often get of people in life. Their orbits come out of space and lay themselves for a short time alongside of ours, and then off they whirl again into the unknown, leaving us with little more than an impression of their reality and a feeling of baffled curiosity as to the mystery of the beginning and the end of their being. 